Hi, I'm Brandon DeWitt, uh, co-founder and CTO at MX. Usually not the guy you see up here. Uh, I'm the nerdy guy, so hopefully we can talk about some nerdy things uh, this afternoon. Um, you know, this stage and this audience has been phenomenal to us. We've been coming to Finnovate now for almost a decade. And uh, in that time, we have grown to more than 30 million users and more than 2,000 financial institutions use MX's platform to deliver delightful experiences out to their consumers. We've actually done that with a singular mission, which is empowering the world to be financially strong with finances as it should be. And when we think about finances as it should be, we think about the ability to not have financial pain because of decisions that you make in your life or because of the lifestyle that you might live. And we think that, that it makes for a better world that we might have out there. You know, we're on this journey you know, we started really as a, as, as, as a data company and as a budgeting company, but we're really moving to the direction of automated finance. But you need to have that data and budgeting tools so people can really trust but verify what they're doing. Because when we have technological experiences, we end up not trusting those experiences because the data behind it might not be real. And so we're here today to talk about that spectrum, to talk about a new product that we have called Pulse and to talk about an ecosystem that we're releasing called MX Enabled. Pulse is a news feed uh, utilizing the enhanced rich data of the MX platform that allows you to have a one glimpse view about how your financial life is performing and what are the important things. There's lots of stuff like spending limits and overages that you might have on budgets. You know, when we rolled this out internally at MX, we had an individual find out that he had three Netflix subscriptions in his family. And so he actually thought that the software was broken until he dr drilled in. Um, and then there's also the classic experience of if you're on a promo at a place like Comcast or Time Warner and you're getting that great rate and then a year later you need to call back to make sure you get that great rate again when they're going to do it at their customer support center. MX enable, I mean, Pulse is using all of the data insights that we've invested in the scale that we've invested into the MX platform. And really the key of that is the data that we're able to bring together and actually process uh, for the future of what we think is finance. You know, some of you definitely out there know the story about my life personally. And I want to take a little bit to talk about, you know, three and a half years ago I was diagnosed with stage four cancer. I had metastatic cancer in my lungs and throughout the rest of my body. And the part that I don't talk about publicly very often is actually the project that ended up saving my life started a decade before then. And what happened was, is a decade before then, researchers and scientists and universities and pharmaceutical companies decided to come together in a unified data platform to bring genetic mutations of tumors and cancer patients and other profiles together to collaborate and distribute the innovation and the experimentation that was actually able to yield the chemotherapy and the immunotherapy that I'm actually on today. My initial prognosis was 90 days, and clearly, I'm alive three and a half years later because people chose to come together and collaborate from the innovation side. We actually use that. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'm deeply grateful to places like Dana-Farber and, and Fred Hutch that chose to dedicate to a mission like that. We actually took that example and we brought, and we came up with an idea that we call MX Enabled. And MX Enabled is taking this idea that we have so much, so many amazing fintechs. They're here. They're here today. They're doing amazing things. Even the stuff that we just saw on stage right before us is unbelievable stuff. But the difficult part is as a financial institution, how do you plug all that in? You get backed up with project delay after project delay. You don't have a uniform integration style. You don't have a uniform uh, consistency in how that data is being leveraged. So it's a really difficult equation. So as MX, we thought with the distribution and reach that we have with more than 2,000 institutions and 30 million users, we actually wanted to bring together both the creators and the custodians and be able to have them collaborate on a singular integration and a singular consistent interface. And so for fintechs, that means it's a set of APIs and SDKs and user, inter user interface extension points that allow them to actually plug into the MX platform and the thousands of institutions that we have on it 
and be able to offer experiences more quickly and without and bringing that innovation forward and accelerating the speed of, of integration so that companies with small number of resources and small amounts of capital can actually distribute across thousands of institutions. But the other side is also true. If you're a financial institution, you're looking for an actual open protocol way of connecting to all these other experiences. You can think of it as kind of like an app store that has actually vetted and secure innovations that are available at the tap of a button to be able to distribute it to your consumers. So we're bringing these together under an open OAuth protocol that allows these individuals to cross-connect. And quite frankly, the future of innovation may not be MX. It's probably actually something out there that's not even been thought of. But if we're creating a platform that allows that innovation to absolutely connect to one another into thousands of institutions, all of a sudden we're experimenting at a scale that is worldwide without anybody's ability to control it. We're actually showing it today here with FinAI plugged into the Helios mobile framework. It's truly an incredible experience as you have the same consistent data view throughout the entire app. We're actually going to be launching here today out at booth uh, 43 with Casisto and AlphaRank and Personetics and Amplero and FinAI. We want you to come out and visit with us. You can even email me at brandon at mx.com if you're interested. We're at booth 43. We want to build a better world. We want to build amazing things together. Let's chat. Thanks for having us out here today.